Hello everybody. So here we are having another question. If the sum of the squares of the zeros of the quadratic polynomial, okay? So this is a quadratic polynomial, fx equals to x square minus 8x plus k is 40, okay? No problem at all. So this is the polynomial, quadratic polynomial. Let's just write it down first of all. So fx equals to x square minus 8x plus k. So first of all, we have to check whether this is written in standard form or not. So you can see x raised to the power 2, then x raised to the power 1, and in last, it is a constant term. So we can see that it is already written in the standard form. So now after comparing this equation with standard form, ax square, I hope all of you remember that ax square plus bx plus c, if you compare this equation uh, with the given, then we can simply get a, raised, a equals to 1, b equals to minus 8 and c is coming out to be k right now they are saying if the sum of the squares of the zeros of the quadratic polynomial i hope all of you remember that the zeros of the quadratic polynomial are represented by alpha and beta and since it is a quadratic question we are going to have two zeros and they are denoted by alpha and beta so they are saying the sum of alpha and beta is not 40 try to read it one more time the sum of the square of zeros of the quadratic polynomial, the square of the zeros. So basically what they are saying, they are saying the alpha square plus beta square is coming out to be 40. This is not, I again repeat, this is not sum of the square. They have written, I hope you can see, the sum of the square, square word is also there. The sum of the squares of the zeros of the quadratic polynomial is 40. So what is given to us? It's alpha square plus beta square, which is equals to 40, right? So basically you got A equals to 1, B equals to minus 8, C equals to K. I hope you also remember that there is, there is a formula for sum of zeros, right? So alpha plus beta is equals to minus b upon a, right? So alpha plus beta is equals to minus b. So we are going to put the value minus 8 upon 1. So ultimately, alpha plus beta is equals to 8. Okay, got it? Now there is another formula for product of zeros, right? Let me also write it because we will going to use it. So the formula is alpha into beta, which is equals to c upon a. So alpha into beta, now what is the value of C? You can see C is K and what is the value of A? It is one. So we can simply write down alpha beta, alpha into beta is equals to K. So I hope you have noticed that we have already calculated the value of alpha plus beta as well as alpha into beta. We are highlighting these two values because it will be used in the later part of the question. So try to understand what we have to find out. We have to find out the value of K. Right now, uh, alpha plus beta is known to us, alpha into beta is known to us, but the value which is given to us is alpha square plus beta square. Before solving further, I would like to let you know that you might have, you must have, not just might, you ha must have learned there is an identity in your classes. A plus B whole square is equals to A square plus B square plus 2AB, right? So if I tell you, can you move this 2AB on the left hand side? You will say simply, why not? a plus b square minus 2ab is equals to a square plus just a bit a square plus b square right so can you write down this equation like this a square plus b square is equals to a plus b whole square minus 2ab i think we all can do this right now what i'm going to tell you that can you replace a with alpha and b with beta i hope you can do it so this identity will start looking like alpha square plus beta square equals to alpha plus beta whole square minus two alpha beta. Okay, so you need to remember that this is not a new identity. This is actually the identity which is already known to most of you. I, I hope all of you, right? So alpha square plus beta square is the identity. You need to remember this thing because if you derive this again and again, it will going to consume lots of time. And most of the time, the question is actually MCQ type question. So I hope that all of you got it from where the formula is derived. Now, this is actually the derivation part. You don't need to show it. You can simply uh, memorize this formula. Alpha square plus beta square equals to alpha plus beta whole square minus two alpha beta. So basically what I'm going to do, let me move this thing. So what I'm going to do is applying this formula here, right? So instead of alpha square plus beta square, what I can write, we can write alpha plus beta whole square minus two alpha beta equals to 40, right? 
Now, I need to tell you that alpha plus beta is already known to us. So I'm going to substitute the values of alpha plus beta and alpha into beta. So alpha beta is k. So I'm going to put it and this whole thing is equals to 40. Now, what is the square of it? It's 64 minus 2k equals to 40, right? So I'm going to uh, simply move 40 on the left hand side and minus 2k on the right hand side. So it is coming out to be like this. You know, you are very well aware that minus sign minus 2k will become plus 2k when it goes to the right hand side. And similarly, plus 40 becomes minus 40 when it moves to the left hand side. Now, let's subtract them. 4 minus 0 is 4. 6 minus 4 is actually 2. And 2k, so we have to find out k. So 24 divided by 2 is equals to k. And ultimately, we, got, we can simply cancel it out. We get k is equals to 12. I hope all of you got the question correctly the most important thing is this formula you have to remember this thing and even if you don't recall it you can easily derive it but definitely it will going to take some more time so i will recommend that you should memorize this formula i hope you got the solution thank you very much